This week I'm going to show you two knots that I really like for attaching a bed roll or a shelter roll, whatever it is, to the bottom of my pack. Hey adventurers, Joe Bassett for Valiant Outfitters. Sometimes I just want to get out minimalist. I want to take as little with me as possible just to test my skills out there. Just take my everyday carry 72 hour get home bag, wool blanket, and my tarp system. If you've watched my video on packing backpacks, you know that I'm not a fan of things being on the outside of my pack. But in this case, if I'm going to put my sleep system and my shelter system inside of my pack, this one, it's going to fill up the whole thing. So I am going to need to find a way to attach it to the outside. This week, I'm going to show you two knots that I really like for attaching a bed roll or a shelter roll, whatever it is, to the bottom of my pack. I'm also going to show you how I do that roll so that it keeps everything dry. To begin, make sure that your tarp is face down. What I mean by that is the face is the part that goes up towards the sky, the part that keeps the rain off of you, the exterior of the tarp. You want to have that down so that if it gets wet or it is wet from rain or whatever overnight, it's not going to get onto your bedroll. I'm also dividing the tarp into fourths. You can do it divided in half and then each of those halves a half or on these DD hammocks, the tie outs already put it into fourths for you. So I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and then four fourths. Lay your bed roll down in that second fourth so that I have a fourth over here and then I have two fourths or a half on that side. You're going to need to experiment with your bed roll to see how it fits in there. With my wool blanket here, if I do that into thirds, then it comes out to fill up from side to side that second fourth. I want it to fill up as much as I can, but not go over. Once I have that laid out, I'm going to take one half and I'm going to put it all the way over. I'm going to fold it all the way over. Now, if you feel in here, you'll feel where the end of your bedroll comes. I want to take that section between the end of the tarp and where my bedroll begins and fold that over to make it into like an envelope. I'll do the same thing at this far end. Now I'm going to take that first fourth and fold it over that second fourth where my bedroll is. My final step before I start rolling is to then fold that in half so it matches roughly the width of my pack. Now I've left out here my stakes and my ridge lines and my paracord that I use for tying out my shelter. I'm going to roll that up inside of this roll, but I've kept out three lengths of paracord that I'm going to use to tie my roll and then secure it to the bottom of my backpack. When I get to the end, I like to take this and fold it under and then roll onto it. That's just a little bit more security against water incursion. I have that rolled nice and tight 
And here's the first nut we're going to use. I have a length of paracord and I've doubled it up on itself. I'm going to lay that out, put my roll on top of that. So I've wrapped my paracord, doubled up, underneath my roll. I'm going to take these two working ends, the free ends, and bring those up through that loop that I made. And then do it again, come up through that loop again. I can hold my thumb on the end that's away from me and cinch it down. And that will hold pretty securely. But it's not secure enough that if I use this knot to attach to my bag, it would hold. Now, some people will put a slip in there, quick release, just an overhand like that, and cinch that down, and that will help hold. But I'm gonna demonstrate for you how I attach it to my bag. Now most packs, even day packs, will have tie-out points underneath the bag. I've taken two more pieces of paracord, doubled them again, and run them through those tie-out points so that the loops are facing down towards me. When I take my roll, I want to make sure that the opening is facing down so that if water gets into it, see if it's up like this, water runs off and it gets in there and it can pool in there and it can seep through. So to mitigate that, I'm going to make it so that it's pointing down and I'm going to flip it over so that it's against me where there's going to be even less chance of water seeping in or leaking into it. With the paracord doubled over, I'm going to bring it around and I want to double that loop back down on itself, making a lark's head. Then fold it in so they come against each other, making a secondary loop. Take one free end and come through from one direction. Take the other free end, come in from the other direction. And when I pull those and dress it down, it's gonna cinch tight and hold. And some people call this the woodland zip tie or the bushcraft zip tie. But you get the idea. I'll do a little bit of a different angle for this side so it might be easier for you to see. So I'm taking that loop and I'm folding it down on itself. Make that lark's head. I'm gonna fold that in. Take one side through that way. The other side through the other way. Dress it down and then pull it tight. And that's good and secure. To release it, you're going to grab away from you and just pull it loose. There it is. If you absolutely have to suspend something from the bottom of your pack, that's the way I suggest to do it. To me, those are the best nuts to use. Hey, this is Joe Bassett for Valiant Outfitters. Thanks for joining me for another Wilderness Wednesday, even back here in the uh, backyard base camp. I'm gonna get out in the woods with this minimalist setup for a while. If you found this video helpful, please don't hesitate. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when to join me next time.